What's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube, it's Jippy Man here. I always right now I'm on my way back, 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 back to the crib. Anyway, I got a friend of mine. He's um the guy that was in my uh, relax, relax too much or something video and came out here um, to visit this girl. I mean, she paid his ticket and everything, right? And he came to visit me in Osaka. And I was a little surprised because... Um, he was actually there because usually Japanese girls don't, you know, give guys, you know, that much rope, you know, to go out, you know. But he said she paid for his hotel, everything, and the, um, his um, train ride down and gave him some spending money and stuff, you know. And I was laughing. He was like, what are you laughing for? And I said, man, when you get back, man, she's going to rip you a new, a new hole in your head or something like that. And he was like, nah, nah, she cool. You know, it's my girl, man. That's my girl, man. You know, it's my girl, man. She's a good girl. And every time guy said it, I just burst in laughter. It's so funny. And, or bust in laughter, burst in laughter, whatever. And, man, so we, we ended up going to um, Nada. And that's where I met um, that, um, what's his name? God, I can't think of his name. The Vietnamese guy in my video and stuff. And I'm always real cool and stuff. So we hung out, you know, went clubbing and stuff, and they had a good time and stuff. No, we didn't go clubbing. He he doesn't go clubbing, and um, I went clubbing by myself. And so anyway, he gets back. No, no, I told him I said when you get back, you're gonna be in trouble. He's like, no, nah, no, nah. man. He get back a couple of days later. He called me, man. Man, you won't believe what happened. I just started laughing because I was like, in my head, I'm like, yeah, I know what happened, boy. She, she, she. She, she, uh, she, uh, 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 you know, I said, guess she yelled him or whatever and stuff. And, um, he was like, yeah, man, I came home. You know, I walked in the door and she told me to sit down on the couch because she got to talk to me. And so she sat down, I sat down and she sat down next to me. And then she started telling me how she didn't appreciate me going and I go here to visit you and blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. And, you're not supposed to be here to be with her and this and that. And he said they got into it, so he went to, uh, he picked up his stuff and went to leave, I guess. And she blocked the door and he couldn't touch her, you know, because he didn't want to call the police or something, saying he physically abused her or whatever. So they made up and stuff, and things got to going good and stuff. And, and you know, he called me and I was just laughing at him. And I was saying, man, if I were you, man, I'd cut her loose. He's like, why, why? I said, man, because all she's doing is prepping you, man. He's like, prepping me for what? I said, for marriage. And then after marriage, she's going to dog you out. You know, and she said, no, no, you know, everything's cool now. And I'm like, man, listen, she's going to abuse you and then heal your wound. And abuse you and heal your wound. And, and each time she does, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. And you're just going to get used to it, you know. And nah, nah, that ain't going to happen. So he ended up going back to Canada. Um, and this year he came back again. And he's up in Nagoya. Yeah? And so I went up to visit him. Man, he was like, man, this girl, man, she's trying to get me to marry her. And I was laughing. He said, yeah, man, she like, she like, uh, talking about she might be pregnant. I'm like, well, well how can she say that? You, you having sex with her with no condoms on? Uh, you know, she said it was okay. I can, um, I can come up inside her because, uh, uh, you know, she keeps track of her periods for the last five years every month, and she knows when and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, when she told you she, you can do that, you know, it was like when she can easily get pregnant, you know? No, nah, nah, I don't think she do. I'm like, man, I said, I can't believe he even. But I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe he fell for the old whoop de doo you know what I'm saying? He was like, no. Nah. So he was like, man, man, she told me all she wanted to have a baby because of her last chance. And and we and she wanted to be married before she had a baby. And once she, we um, get married, and, and he like, we get married, right? And I'm like, oh, my God, I can't. Does he even listen to his own comments and stuff, you know? We get married, and then the baby will come, and then I can be free to do what I want. And da, da, da. I'm like, man, you marry that woman, you ain't going to be free to do anything. I said, she going to have you, put you on even on lockdown. You're just going to be a, a, a slave, and that's it, you know. And she going to mentally mess you up. Nah, nah. And I 
it ain't like that. So I guess something happened. They got in this big fight, homeboy. Called me up, went up there, visited him stuff, and he was like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm changing my ticket, man. I got to get out of here and stuff. So he ended up leaving, right? But before he went to Osaka, he went to, um, to uh, what's that place? Thailand. And he said he was, like, at the airport and met this girl and him or her. You know, they just hit it off, you know, and stuff. And she treated him way better than the girl that he was with in Japan and stuff, you know. And it, it was funny, though. And he was telling me about that, and I was laughing. I said, yeah, man. You know, but I said, but even these women, I said, you know, they'll treat you nice and stuff. But, you know, trust me, they, they got their game, you know. You know, they got their game. So when you're involved with it, you got to make sure you get what you want out of it, you know, just in the case. And he was like, oh, no, nah, you know. So, you know, getting back to the Japanese woman, he was like, yeah, man. She, um, she talked about we can get married and stuff, and this and that, and he came back, and he was sending me all these, um, messages of her, um, saying that she was, um, well, he didn't send me all of them, but she was like, oh, you don't love me, and blah, blah, this, and blah, blah, that, and all this stuff, and I'm like, man, I would've just, like, whoosh, cut that off, you know, because you don't even need to hassle for it, especially, you know, you're not going to do anything, right? And then he sent me this one talking about what she said she gonna break up with him. You don't love me, I don't feel love and and all of this stuff. And I'm like, man, you guys are like way, way too far away to be engaging in something like this, you know. It, it was just funny though, but you know, hopefully he ain't gonna fall for the the whoop de doo, you know, just in case she do buy him another ticket to come back out here, you know. But I'm like, oh man, you guys gotta be aware of this, because I'm going to tell you another thing, too. Another my friend, I can't even tell you what he did, but his wife did something that was so cold. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. But anyway, that's it. I'm out. Peace.